Hi. This instructional video is a continuation of solving inequalities. Now here is an example of where we have a negative coefficient which becomes sort of a different animal when we talk about inequality. Let me explain. Let me rewrite this. Negative 3x is greater than negative 1 over 2. To solve this, remember on the previous instructional video I said multiply the reciprocal of the coefficient instead of dividing it and here's the reason why. Sometimes you will have a constant on the right side that is already in fraction form. So that look a little confusing, wouldn't it? If you try to divide a 3, oop, looks like my spaghetti's done. I'll be right back. See, if you were to take this, let me rewrite it over here just to show you the confusion that could create if you went ahead and divided that coefficient. Look at this, negative 3 to both of the equation. And look, you end up with a quotient within a quotient, which can cause a lot of visual confusion. <laughs> What on earth is negative 1 over 2 divided by a whole number negative 3? And, and to avoid that, that's why I recommend it instead, you multiply the reciprocal of, in this case, negative 3. So let me go ahead and demonstrate so you could try numbers 2 and 3. The reciprocal of negative 3, the re reciprocal is, if you have a negative, you must also multiply the reciprocal. The reciprocal is the same sign of the original. And it's going to be the quotient, I mean the the 1 over 3. And you're going to take that number being multiplied on the left and multiply to the right side as well, negative 1 over 3. And now here's the, the tricky part of it. Anytime you multiply or divide a negative coefficient, negative coefficient, anytime you multiply or divide, not add or subtract, multiply or divide a negative, the direction of the inequality must change. This is only when you multiply or divide a negative. Okay? Now, on the left side, negative and negative becomes positive. And the 3 and the denominator 3 simplifies out. So we got 1x, or simply x. On the right side, negative and negative on this side becomes positive as well. And 1 half times 1, ha one third, multiply across, we get 1 over 6. That's the answer. Now, how do you graph this number line? The number we're talking about is 1 over 6. And the numbers you choose to satisfy this inequality better be less than 1 over 6. Not equal to, less than. So, open circle because it's less than, because it does not include that 1 over 6, and less than means any number to the left of that on the number line. There it is. So why don't you try numbers 2 and 3 now. All right. So in this case, if you follow my recommendation, you would multiply the reciprocal of negative 4 to both sides of the equation. So what is a reciprocal of negative, never negative 4? It is negative 1 over 4. And of course, you've got to do that on the right side as well. So on the left side, just be assured that it will always be a 1x. But if you must see, the 4 and the 4 denominator simplifies. Negative and negative becomes positive 1x, or simply x. And remember, when you multiply or divide a negative, the direction of the inequality must change. Yeah. And on the right side, positive and a negative becomes a negative. And one third times one fourth, one times one numerator is one, three times four denominator is 12. There's your numeric answer. Now, how do you draw that on the number line? The number we're talking about is negative one over 12. And it says the number you choose to satisfy this inequality, it has to be greater than or equal to. So equal to means closed circle to include that number. And greater than means to indicate all the numbers to the right side of that number on the number line. There it is. And finally, number three. You getting the hang of it yet? Here I go. So I'm going to copy that one more time to give me some room. And now I'm going to multiply the reciprocal of negative 2 over 3. Hey, this one's already in quotient form. So it's going to be negative 3 over 2. 
and I must multiply that to the right side of the inequality as well. So on the left side, the 2 and the 2 simplifies the 3, and the 3 denominator simplifies negative and negative becomes a positive 1x. And I have to change the direction of the inequality because I'm multiplying a negative. So it becomes now greater than. And on the right side, the denominator 2 reduces the 4 twice. Therefore, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 over 1, or simply negative 6. There's my numeric answer. What number are we talking about on the number line? It's negative 6. The numbers you have to choose to satisfy this inequality is greater than negative 6. Not including the negative 6, greater than negative 6. So open circle and then to the right. There you have it.